Sigmar be praised, patch 3.0 has arrived alongside the Forge of the Chaos Dwarfs campaign pack. We've heard your feedback and the AI has been reading up on the art of war. We've made tweaks to pathing, strategic threat calculations, recruitment priorities and more. We've also fixed issues involving AI indecisiveness, targeting, coordination, rudely giving up on sieges, and tweaked the decision-making parameters for things like peace deals, war declarations, and other deal evaluations. Destructible props and other objects have been causing issues with ranged units believing they couldn't fire over them. This has been greatly reduced, meaning market stalls, tents, carts, lampstands, and other seemingly innocent objects should no longer prevent your ranged units from pulling the trigger. Only their conscience can do that now. For the modders, we fixed an issue causing the mod limit problem, so mod to your heart's content. No one likes a diverted flight. We fired our navigator and recalibrated our compasses. A quirk loading players into incorrect battle maps has been addressed for both Realms of Chaos and Immortal Empires, so players should find themselves lost less frequently. Elsewhere, we've added a new panel to the campaign UI, allowing players to search certain items on the campaign map, making it quick and easy to look up settlements, provinces, factions, characters, landmarks, and resources. Speaking of adding things, we've included sticky tooltip options, meaning players can decide how long a tooltip window takes to open or stays open after moving away. Sticky tooltips and unit cards within tooltips might help you survive just that one wave longer when you test your metal in endless survival battles. There's a really long list of fixes and quality of life changes, so let's just scratch the surface quickly. Azag no longer misplaces his unique items when mounted. Skaven are once again allowed into their Brightstone Mine landmark. Feral Manticores now have access to Red Line skills. Oath Brothers of Tor now correctly have the Buy Our Blood passive ability. We fixed textures on the Arcane Phoenix, performed a VFX rework on the Law of Fire, added the ability to enable slash disable all end turn warnings, included a random campaign select button for the adventurous and the indecisive. And the game should crash less when dragging elect account portraits into seats. Now, ideally it wouldn't crash at all, but some things are out of mankind's control, like the inevitable heat death of the universe. Oh, and Grimgore's back to his usual healthy hue. Gorgeous. Also arriving in patch 3.0 is the Mirror of Madness. We partnered with Intel to show off the world-bending powers of Zeech. Increase unit and army sizes, play with ragdoll physics and gravity, and tweak any number of specific settings in the Infinite Portal game mode. Or undertake the trials of fate and win unique campaign items for your demon prince. Check out our dedicated Mirror of Madness video to find out more. Improved AI, emboldened ranged units, and a new look for Grimgore. All this and much, much more in the Total War Warhammer 3 Patch 3.0 update arriving on the 13th of April. There's a lot not covered in this video, so head over to the blog for the full patch notes.